Hello everyone. Today I wanted to talk a bit about uh, shame. Um, misplaced shame that um, the children feel. Uh, this uh, shame can translate uh, even in adulthood. So children are very sensitive. They are very sensitive to their environment. Uh, they are very sensitive because they are new to this world. And they don't have the references that we have as an adult. They don't have um, the experiences that we have gone through. So a child by nature is a very sensitive being. So everything will be taken on board and cause suffering, basically. So talking shame and misplaced shame, um, society, society uh, bring to the children uh, this uh, sort of uh, shame. Um, I remember, I'm just uh, remembering a bit uh, childhood, and I remember this uh, misplaced uh, shame, uh, and I remember this girl. Uh, she, she was a bit older than myself, and she wasn't in my classroom, but um, she suffered a polio, and she did have these uh, metal braces, I think they, they could be called, and um, due to polio. And I remember, I have this image of her, all lonely, and um, <clears throat> no one there to go there and talk to her or, you know, be her friend. It made me think, wh why was that? And, and it was shame. I mean, we couldn't be seen with someone, you know, who was crippled. And, and who taught us that as children? It was the society, it was the environment, it was the teachers. These days there are so many of these uh, challenges that have been overcome. And it's great to see, for example, if um, there is a child who, who does have any sort of disability coming to the school and all the teachers and the children um, will be there supporting them. Uh, the teacher will be the first to introduce that child and, you know, um, make the other children to not only accept but help, for example, which is the right thing to do. But at the time, and I'm not talking a hundred years ago, but it so seems so, that um, no teacher did introduce us that girl. No teacher did tell, um, you know, uh, this is such and such, this suffer this. No, it, it was a shame. It was quietly put on the side and I could see her lonely. And I remember her. I remember her. This, uh, this stigma that society taught us as children. Uh, shame. That was it. It was shame. And, um, you know, uh, I remember well that... Um, uh, there was a hush hush things if someone was raped, for example, and you know, people used to keep that hush hush. It was a shame. It was a shame for the victim, I mean. And everyone was covering the story or whatever happened. And um, as a child, um, I, I myself, when I was nine years old, I was, uh, how can I say it? Because it was just uh, someone trying to, uh, let's say, molest me or something like that. And, I mean, nothing happened and yet it caused me shame. Shame that I, I, I carried on until I was uh, 33 years old. I mean, society and, and the time of that society was a time of stigma and silence and, and shame. And um, let alone if you did have a child who who did have Down syndrome, for example, or a lot of parents were encouraged to leave them in homes. Um, you know, the, the parents felt somehow shame. 
or if the child was autist or any sort of uh, mental or physical disease was uh, was a stigma in the family and I, I, I am so glad that um, all this stigma and people talk about it now and in the open and and you are able to to tell your story and and get get out that burden that society put on us um, society has changed a lot uh, I mean I'm not hundred years old but uh, I can see uh, gladly that uh, so many stigma has um, now gone thank God for that um, but yes uh, there was the stigma as well or, or the shame to be poor uh, if your uniform for example wasn't you know brand new or, uh, or, or your, your shoes were a bit broken up <laughs> I remember going with um, my sandals well into winter <laughs> Uh, it wasn't exactly cold, but you did get your feet wet. Uh, that was a shame, you know, you tried to hide your feet, you know. And there's so many things that are now, thank God, uh, gone. And it's probably what people call toxic shame, isn't it? That stigma. Stigma that shouldn't be there. Shouldn't be there. Anyway, um, I'll leave you with the... <laughs> images of this uh, painting that uh, we bought in one of the flea markets and um, thank you for listening and watching. Bye for now.